Good morning, New Canaan High School. I'm Alice Gelhouse coming to you live from the NCTV studio. Today is St. Patrick's Day and a day E. And I'm Kiara Rapuana. Before we get to this week's announcements, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's start with the winter musical. The NCHS Theater Department is performing the Will Rogers Follies tonight at 7 p.m. and again on Saturday with two shows, one at 2 p.m. and the other at 7 p.m. The play is about an all-American humorist, Will Rogers, and his life. It focuses on the relationship with his wife, Betty, played by Allison Demers, and his father, played by NCTV's own Jack Dayhill. It will also star NCTV's Luke Pelly and Madeline Friedland. Opening night is tonight, and you can still buy tickets beforehand on the theater's website, newcanonhighschooltheater.com, or at the door. The Carriage Barn Art Center has its opening reception tonight from 5 to 7 p.m. for their fifth annual art show, Through Our Eyes. The show features art from more than 130 NCHS students, including this girl sitting right next to me. With art in all media platforms, there's definitely something for everyone. Thanks, Alice. I'm really excited for the opening. Moving from one show to another, the Charity Link will host their annual Coffee House concert on Wednesday, March 29th at 7 p.m. in the Wagner Room. This year, Charity Link will feature a variety of student artwork throughout the show, including paintings, photographs, and even short films. All proceeds will be donated to Doctors Without Borders. Any interested musicians, poets, or artists that would like to participate should contact Ms. Weeks, Emma St. Raymond, or Chase Pellegrini for more information. With Tuesday's storm, career night has been rescheduled and the new date is Wednesday, March 22nd. Although it is a requirement for seniors participating in the internship program, all grades are invited. The event happens every other year and features professionals from several different fields of work who will share their stories and how they got to where they are today. Be sure not to miss it. And CHS is launching a new Student of the Month program to recognize students who demonstrate some of the school's The New Norm criteria. Each month, faculty and staff will nominate students who strive to create a safe, collaborative, and non-evaluative environment in our community. For February 2016, the following six students were nominated and our first award recipients are Josh Siegel, Jack Volpe, Daniel Liu, Brandon Hreska, Anna Reed, and Grace Russo. Congratulations to our first recipients of the Student of the Month. These students, along with recipients in the future months, will be honored at a breakfast at the end of the year. Next Friday is the Senior Prom Fashion Show. If you haven't already had your fitting, make sure to do that as soon as possible since tomorrow is your deadline. Next Thursday is the mandatory dress rehearsal, which will take place during all three lunches. Well, Alice, after Tuesday's snow, people might not be happy to hear we might be getting some more. That's cute. That's crazy, Kiara. <laughs> With spring officially starting next Tuesday, I'm wondering how much longer it takes until it starts to warm up. To find out more, let's go to our birthday weatherman, Sean Manzella. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Sean! Uh, thanks, guys, but I wish I had better news, but it's actually going to be a little cold this St. Patrick's Day. Hey, everyone, I'm, a, I'm Sean Manzella, back here for the second time this week to give you your weekend weather update. Let's start with today. It's going to be sunny most of the day with a high in the 40s, but that won't last long because it will drop to a frigid low of 25 degrees. So if you have any St. Patrick's Day plans, make sure to wear layers. And if you didn't think we got enough snow this week, it looks like there's a chance for a couple more inches on Saturday afternoon into the evening. It's going to be a cold with a high in the upper 30s just, and a low just below freezing. That snow will continue into Sunday morning, but it will turn into a snowy, rainy mix as temps go back to the 40s during the day before dropping down to 24 degrees. Alice and Kiara, I know I can't wait for it to warm up. How about you guys? Sean, I know I'm really excited for spring, but for St. Patty's Day, I guess I'll just have to warm up with some corned beef and cabbage. But for all those venturing out to New Haven to watch the boys' hockey team take on Northwest Catholic in state semifinals, stay warm and good luck, guys. Also, a huge congratulations to the boys' swim team, who topped off an amazing season by winning the Class L state championship. And best of luck to all competing in state opens. Now, before we go, we would like to wish a happy birthday to one other person than Sean Manzella, Skylar Davidson. Happy birthday, guys. This has been Alice Galhouse for NCTV. Don't forget to tune into the channel this weekend to watch a new episode of Beyond the Whistle featuring NCTV's own Scotty Luntz and Matt Schlegel. This episode will feature March Madness Bracketology. So happy St. Patrick's Day, guys. 
And I'm Kiara Rapuano. Don't forget, if you have any announcements, feel free to email us at nctv78 at gmail.com or tweet at us at nctv78 a week prior to the announcements. With all the snow and cold weather recently, we thought we'd show you something to warm you up. Over break, NCTV Scotty Lentz brought his drone to Australia and tried to find some kangaroos. Enjoy. Happy St. Patrick's Day, NCHS. 